Ryan Gosling gave a performance that was more than Kenef. John Cena told the naked truth about streaking, and Emma Stone won a wardrobe malfunction along with her award. Here are all the must-see moments from the 2024 Academy Awards. The night's host, Jimmy Kimmel, kicked off the show with a hilarious monologue, calling out Barbie's Oscar snubs. Now Barbie's a feminist icon, thanks to Greta Gerwig, who many believe deserved to be nominated for Best Director. I know you're clapping, but you're the ones who didn't vote for her, by the way. <laughs> Don't act like you had nothing to do with this. He also joked about Robert Downey Jr.'s wild past. This is the highest point of Robert Downey Jr.'s long and illustrious career. Well, one of the highest points. Um, but... <laughs> Robert has been a... But RDJ got the last laugh when he won the award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Oppenheimer. As for Best Supporting Actress, Davine Joy Randolph gave an emotional speech after winning for her stunning work in The Holdovers. I have to give a special shout out to my publicist. And I know y'all said don't say nothing about no publicist, but you don't have a publicist like I have a publicist. You have been by my side for the entire thing, and I am forever grateful. Billie Eilish and Phineas took the stage to perform their hit What Was I Made For from Barbie, then turned around and won the Oscar for Best Song, presented by Wicked co-stars Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo. Thank you to Greta. Where did you go? I love you. Thank you for this. I'm so grateful for this song and for this movie and the way that it made me feel. We also had some throwback reunions with Michael Keaton and Catherine O'Hara conjuring up Beetlejuice memories and Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito twinning in 2024. Meanwhile, John Cena wanted to reunite with his jorts when he backtracked on his streaker plans with Jimmy. Change my mind, I don't want to do the streaker bit anymore. What do you mean you don't want to do the streaker bit anymore? We're doing it. I just don't feel right about it. Yeah, this is, it's an elegant event. You know, honestly, you should feel shame right now for suggesting such a tasteless idea. Oh, it's supposed to be funny. The male body is not a joke. Mine is. <laughs> Fine, just give out the award then. God, the worst. Don't get your panties in a twist. John wasn't really naked, as you can see here in this behind-the-scenes photo. Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt tried to squash their Barbenheimer beef, but it seems the beef is still sizzling. No, I, I think I kind of figured out why they call it Barbenheimer and they didn't call it Oppen Barbie. Why? Well, I think you guys are at the tail end of that because you were riding Barbie's coattails all summer. <laughs> Thanks for Ken explaining that to me. Then Rye Guy took the stage to perform I'm Just Ken, and anywhere else it would be a 10, but here it was an 11. The award for Best Actor went to Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer, while Best Actress went to Poor Things star Emma Stone, who started off her speech by revealing her gown was giving out. Um, my dress is broken. <laughs> I think it happened during I'm Just Ken. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. And Oppenheimer continued its award season domination when Christopher Nolan won for Best Director and the flick took home the award for Best Picture.